Okay, this week's vlog, which again is broken down version, I've got my brother to talk to. He's over there, I'm over here, we've got some social distancing in place, and I'm thinking I'm gonna keep this in place for the rest of my life, because I don't like to be near him. I don't like to be next to him. What do you think, bro? Yeah, that's why I'm gonna wear this for the rest <laughs> of my life, especially when I'm around you, bro. <laughs> that way I don't have to smell your breath. <laughs> <laughs> So, to keep uh, just solid content rolling, I wanted to talk to Greg about the importance of customizing your nail services. And what I mean by that is color choices, color offerings, glitter mixes. A lot of nail professionals love buying stuff that's already pre-mixed and done. Makes sense. You buy it, you start using it out of the pot or the jar or whatever and it's done and good to go. But there's huge value in creating your own custom colors in that clients can only come to you to get that color, which leads to so many things. But this is something that Greg has talked about over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I think it's a good message right now. So Greg, as far as like that idea of customizing, um, just in general, like, what is your take on this subject? Customizing is important because in order for you to separate you from the rest of the nail techs out there, you have to be able to offer something that's gonna separate your services uh, and color is really that option. And you, can, you can get a lot of color that's out there, but the best part about, especially what Young Nails has, is we have such an array of custom glitter mixes that you can create thousands of color combinations. And I think if you know you have a basic understanding of color, um, you're really going to be able to follow the trends. And what I mean by that is, you know, fashion, uh, jewelry trends, um, all the things really that uh, I think you're going to be able to complement uh, those things with your nails. And, you know, based on holidays and, and, and what's coming up, you know, once we all get back into, I can't even imagine what's gonna be like when salons open up again. It's oh, it's gonna, gonna be madness, bro. I mean, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. Um, but look, in the meantime, if you have the opportunity to practice right now, also setting up your, basically your, your artillery, right? All of your ammunition is ready to go. All your glitter mixes, your color, and if you can create a stockpile of custom colors, when you have the opportunity to get back into the shop, then you're basically going to have a, a, a menu, such a, a delicacy to choose from. That's a, that is a great idea right now for them to do. Like, and that's content, right? If you're putting that on social media right now and you can tease your customers, look what I'm working on, these are the colors you're gonna get when you get back, these are the things I have for you, and like every week you're creating what Greg is talking about, this custom menu, oh my God, your clients are gonna go crazy. And even if you don't have clients, if you're creating that type of content, like look at the custom blends I'm making, this is gonna get a lot of customer interest and start to help hopefully build your clientele so that when you do get back, there's gonna be that nice explosion. You, you um, talk about it all the time. Um, I think this is a great way of creating content, not just on the skills that you're building uh, while you have time to practice, but you could also show off, like Habib said, the custom colors that you're going to be creating, um, working on your color game. It, it, and again, it takes work. It's not like you're just gonna get back into the shop and you're gonna know what to do. This is the perfect opportunity to study color, right? And if you can create um, like a, a lot of options where when the customers come back, and you say, look what I have for you. I mean, I, I can't imagine how excited they're going to be when they see what you have to offer. You could buy a 660 gram of like clear powder, right? You can buy, I don't know, 10 glitters, some, some color acrylic, mixing jars. mixing jars as well. 
and just start, like I love watching Greg do this too and even Tracy, like they, so they grab it, they pour it, they just throw it in this mix and then take the, the, the liquid and like see the color. And you don't really see the color until you use a liquid where you, 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 you sort of spray it and create this little swatch and it's like it explodes, but you can do so much of that. It's like the design that I created today. I used Speed Pink and Sakura Storm. And I mean, that combination, those two are just, it, that glitter alone with Speed Pink is a phenomenal color um, for background work. A lot of the color that you're gonna work with, it's not just based on the free edge, it's also based on the body as well. So if you guys are really into art, this is a great opportunity for you to take the colors that we have and create again, like an armada, right? So that when you get back into the shop, you have a lot to offer your customers. What I love about it too is, as like we always talk about this, <clears throat> people are scared of raising their prices. They're always like, I don't wanna raise my prices. This is how you do it. You create custom color. I know Tracy used to take uh, our Speed Frosted Pink and she used to add just a drop of, she was telling me that she used to add a drop of the Red Liquid Art and would make this custom pink. And her, no, she, nobody, all of her clientele, bro, they could not get it anywhere else except for her. So you can then raise your price. If your customers can only get certain colors and looks only from you, guess what? You get to raise your prices and you can do it knowing they're not gonna go anywhere. And it's not being mean, it's it's just building your business. That's how you do it. You have to do things, we have to do things every single day to separate us from our competitors. You can do the same thing. When you go and buy a new car, it's not like, you know, they have all like, for those of you guys that love, you know, custom wheels and, and your car decked out with custom accessories, like it's not like you could go to a car dealership and get those, you have to pay extra, right? To, to right. deck it out, like, Anything you customize requires basically some sort of upcharge. You have to think of your nails the same exact way. So if you guys are offering something custom that you cannot get anywhere else, you have to charge more for it. And the customers are willing to pay for it for sure. Exactly like you can get the base model car, right? You can get super, super base and that's fine. You can offer super base nails. They can come in, get them like short and uh, with a gel polish on top and it's out the door and they pay a base price. You want extras, you want wheels, you want that thing slammed, you want that system, you wanna be like booming your vehicle. <laughs> like I need me my music like on like 11, that's how I listen to it. So I need that, you gotta pay for it. Same thing with your nails. That's such a great comparison, I love that and I'm gonna say this. That just gave me the idea, bro. I'm gonna get a custom set brass knuckles so I could deck you out, bro, with my face. <laughs> Every single day, bro. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna get a brass boot, dude, and kick your <laughs> jaw off, <bro. laughs>